there's one for the hot dog. Like he came in hot and he slowed down. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a decent fish. No way, no way. That fish just took down an Oscar Mayer hot dog. <laughs> oh, dude. No way. Welcome back everybody, my name is Ben Stone, you're watching canalgrass.com. I'm on the ice today, I'm joined by my friend Phoenix here, and today we're chasing after pike. We ran into a little problem this morning. For those in Minnesota, you're gonna be able to relate to this, but there's no bait right now. Normally when we pike fish in Minnesota through the ice, we're using live suckers, but unfortunately, there's bait shortages every winter. So today we're exploring a lot of different options to catch pike through the ice. We have hot dogs, which might sound bizarre to some of you, but it does work. We have frozen smelt, and I also just got done cutting a big sight hole, and we're gonna try to see if we can't jig up any pike through a sight hole. So we have a lot of options for, for something cool to happen. Phoenix has been out here lately catching some big pike. He's been making some videos on his channel all around fishing. Highly recommend you check that out. I'm gonna quit talking. We're gonna continue to set everything else up and get fishing. So we have one live sucker today. A uh, little on the bigger side, I think. But Phoenix has been catching big pike out here, like I said. So if this flag pops, it's gonna be one of two things. It's gonna be the sucker trip in the flag or it's gonna be a gigantic northern pike. This is the hot dog, right? Yeah, hot dog. It was just ripping. Oh, that one's up too, but. Yeah, ah, I dropped it, dude. Really? Yeah, it was ripping too. Dang. Yep, there's one for the hot dog. For all you non-believers out there, it sounds crazy, but I worked at a bait store for a while and we'd always run into losing suckers or not having suckers. And I tell people all the time, try hot dogs, it works. And I would get the same crazy looks, same crazy responses. That just proves it. We have a smelt down there, which seems like a more likely candidate for a pike to eat, a frozen piece of actual fish. But that fish just took down an Oscar Mayer hot dog, so. <laughs> All things considered though, we've been out here for a very short amount of time and to have a flag pop that fast gives me a lot of confidence. It gives me even more confidence to get set up in the house and actually jig for these fish too. So Phoenix is gonna get that flag back down there. But uh, judging by that, I think we're in for a good day. Well, now the smelt popped. Is she taking it? I'm not taking line. fish on that one. Well, you can see it down there. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, be able, you'll be able to at least see the fish. We just had our first pike. I just put this frozen smelt on and he just glided right by. Like he came in hot and he slowed down and he went this way, so he might circle back. Oh, that was sick. So we've been out for a little bit now. We've had a couple of flags pop. We have that big sucker out that's been tripped a number of times. We've noticed that our hot dog tip up in particular was just doing some weird stuff. The flag wasn't getting tripped, but I have a GoPro on that one down there. And I actually went back and looked and we actually have had fish come in and look at it. We were in the sight hole, we had one come through and uh, just barely glance at the smelt as soon as we put it down there. Things have happened today. Uh, I mean, the hot dog has done more than the frozen piece of smelt, which is a little bizarre, but we've got enough confidence to kind of just stay out here and see what happens. It's very bright out here. You can tell by my squinting but we're just kind of chilling in the house, listening for these flags, and I think eventually it's gonna pay off. Got her? Fish on. Nice. Fish on. Oh. Finally got one to go here. We can use the rod to measure. Yep. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a decent fish. Yeah, for sure. on an Oscar Mayer hot dog. Oh, yes. oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. If I land it, it'll be my first pike ever caught on a hot dog. Oh. 
Good one. Oh yeah. That is a fatty right there. <laughs> Look at that one, just a beautiful fish. Hot dog down the gullet. First one of the day on the hot dog. I really didn't think this was gonna work. Got our first fish. So we've continued fishing for a decent amount of time now. And whenever you're fishing tip-ups, especially when it's cold out, it's a really good idea to just check on your lines every once in a while because sometimes a fish can just rip the bait off, not trip the flag, or your holes can freeze up. So we're just doing a quick check on all of our, our, all of our flags, make sure everything's good. We've had a couple of fish swim through the side hole. We haven't really had any activity on the flags. I don't know if any fish have checked out that other tip-up, but if they did, I'm sure you'll be seeing that footage right now. Yeah, I mean, we had a window and then it kind of slowed down and we still have, you know, a decent amount of time left in the day. So odds are there's gonna be another window that opens up. So we're just gonna keep fishing, keep waiting. But like I said, just checking on lines right now, we wanna make sure that everything is good to go for when those fish start to bite. Oh my God, dude, right here, right here. Right here. Oh. No way. He's turning, he's turning. Weird. Super weird, dude. Well, that's, that's, that's a puncture. Think something got it there? Something definitely, there's no way a dead bait, a piece, dead piece <laughs> of bait would trip a flag. Right. Weird. Sucker. Nice one, sir. Decent, like high 20s. But if they're not concerned about it, then I'm not concerned about it either. Yeah, exactly. They know you'll get the views. Ooh, that thing is taking off. Oh, yeah. Little guy. That was so sick. He's not big, but that was pretty epic. <laughs> oh, I just sight fish. Oh, there he goes. That was awesome. Oh man, that was epic. Well, as you can tell, it is getting dark. Unfortunately, we ended the day on that little little fish that I sight fished. I was expecting to at least see a couple of fish at that side hole, but to actually get bit doing that was pretty epic. We also got some pretty cool footage in my opinion today. So a lot of good signs on this lake to, to come back. So Phoenix and I are gonna get back out here in the coming days with better bait, better attitudes, and uh, hopefully warmer weather because today was not as warm as it was supposed to be. So it's, it's cold. We're gonna pack everything else up though. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.